Hey my little peach Roonies and welcome back to another episode of our Snow White Challenge with we now have seven dwarves all reaching that childhood stage. The challenge is starting to get to the tough stage now if you guys remember. Oh and we've got a broken dollhouse. Good work gang. Because the bit that I'm going to find really hard is to try and get all of my little dwarves character values up before they become teenagers. If you guys don't remember we have to achieve one great thing with them. Oh my gosh they're crying even when they're children is too much for me. Let's just go back and look at the pretty house. So if you guys don't remember the challenge is before getting them to teenhood they have to achieve one life aspiration or get an A in school or maximize a skill as a toddler. Now five of our dwarves have already achieved this. Dopey, Happy, Sleepy, Sneezer and Bashvaletta have all achieved one of the bigger goals. However for all seven of them I do still need to get one of their character values maxed before they become children. I spy you there Makoa running past that house. Don't think I don't see that. Uh, and that is why all of our children are in the garden raking leaves, throwing them away, basically trying to max these character values which I find quite hard to do. Doc and Grumpy are a little bit different because for both of them I also need to achieve something. I'm thinking for Doc I kind of like the idea that, oh wow, you've got black hair now, Doc. Interesting. I'm pretty sure you're not meant to have black hair. But for her, I'm going to try and get her on an A in school. She's doing it pretty good. She's on a B at the moment. I feel like we can get her there. She is the eldest and she ages up in seven days. So we're doing pretty good. And for Grumpy, I'm actually thinking, why don't we do another childhood aspiration as we did with Bash Valletta? So I'm going to go ahead and buy him a jungle gym because he has the rambunctious scamp childhood aspiration. So let's get him. Where is my jungle gym at? Oh my gosh, they are so free pretty. They go better with the theme of Snow White. So Grumpy, you can go ahead and play on here. You have to pay- Oh, you have to play on Jungle Gym whilst also being playful. How can I get you in a playful mood? I don't know. And Jay Huntington is still on us, asking us to go to the nightclub, but no Jay. Also, you guys, I kind of revealed the results of the poll. I asked you guys whether you would prefer Doc, who has somehow got black hair, but please ignore that because she doesn't have black hair, or uh, Sneezer, which one of them should be Cinderella in my next part of my Disney princess challenge. And you you guys with an 80% vote said Doc, which I really like because she's already cleaning up after all of her brothers and sisters. She's already doing the most chores by far, so it makes sense. Also, she's going to be the eldest, so when she becomes a teenager, I will send her away to go and live with Jay Huntington. And that is when uh, we will start to do the groundwork for the Cinderella challenge. Also getting the kids to do so many chores to try and max these character values. Let's see who's doing the best. Bash is responsible. Surely she's in the range to earn the responsible trait. Maybe just pushing her over that little bit more. Doc also responsibility is good. Dopey not so good. Dopey probably better at manners. Uh, Grumpy's responsibility. Happy manners and responsibility are pretty good. Sneeze there, you're doing pretty bad. Uh, your manners are okay and sleepy, you're doing absolute trash. You're also really angry. You don't you don't know everything from talking to INTJ personality. Okay, they clearly don't get on with them. He is a provider. He is an SF ESFJ, so I guess he's the opposite. And oh my gosh, yes, he's in a playful mood from telling his jokes. Is little Grumpy. So let's get him on this whilst he's still feeling playful. And I think once he does that, I will get to my next stage of Rumbunctious Scamp. Shirley, come on. Play on Jungle Gym while playful. He's doing it. Is it because it's not the right Jungle Gym? You didn't give him it. What? Oh, is it because that is actually not a jungle gym? No, those are monkey bars. That'll do it. That'll be why. Wow, so the jungle gym is the really big one. Ah, uh, how am I going to fit in a whole jungle gym though? And it has to be the pirate ship because the space theme just does not work with uh, Snow White. I might have to remove some of these trees, which obviously it pains me to do. Oh my gosh, but I can fit it. I know it looks ridiculous and I miss my trees. I needed to get him on this. So go play pirate, okay? I feel like you would actually be quite a good pirate. So this works quite well. And he's playful and he's on the jungle gym. Come on, game. Oh, yes, finally, it's given me. It didn't tell me it's given me, but he did. I leave level five, achieve level five in the motor skill and practice typing. How can he practice typing? I don't have a PC. Okay, maybe we focus on your school instead. <laughs> but seriously, I don't think I can get him to practice typing without a PC, can I? And I really don't want to buy a PC. Okay, Doc, you're going to have to work hard at school as well, I'm afraid, because I just don't like the idea of having a PC in uh, Snow White Land. It's kind of stupid. Also, the shortage of beds is starting to become an issue right now. Really? what I should do is get bunk beds. But honestly, I don't have the best of luck with bunk beds. Okay, let's see if anyone can sleep in these. I feel like it's gonna be no, but we'll give it a go. Okay, she can get in the bottom one. Ah, oh, and he can't get in the top one. Okay, <laughs> this is the problem with bunks. What about if I drop it down one? How about now? 
Nope. Okay. How about if I turn it around? Nope. See, this is why bunk beds is tough. Like, I just cannot get this thing to work. Nope. No matter which direction I move it, no matter how high I move it or how low I put it, this child cannot get into bed. Okay. Very annoying. I guess Snow just has to stay up all night whilst all the kids sleep because like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah, seven. That's the dwarves. Okay. Snow will become a night owl in order to allow the dwarves to sleep. The sacrifices we make for our children. There's just too much, okay? Too many sacrifices happening all over the place. I even have to become a vampire. However, it's given her the chance to go back to doing a bit of gardening. I feel like she will have missed that. It's been a while since she's been able to garden, so. Look at this. This is all of Bash Valletta's little pictures. Helping her max her. Was it like the creativity one that she maxed? It was beautiful and it gave us lots of pretty pictures. <gasps> and one apple tree survived. There's one apple tree here, so that's good because, you know, apples, Snow White. Kind of important that we get those two synced up. Oh, and she's back to reading fairy tale fairy tales as well. So cute. And she's got a bladder infection. Yay. <laughs> That's what you want as uh, an already struggling mom of seven children. A UTI. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look, look how already Disney princess Doc is. She's hungry, so I'm gonna get her to come down and eat. But when she goes to play dolls, it's instead to narrate the tale of dolls. That is how smart my little Googie is. She's already making fairy tales, which is obviously pretty ironic because she's, oh, it's winter. Winter just occurred. Uh, it's obviously pretty ironic because she's gonna live one. She is gonna be living one. And one little extra thing I'm doing with all my kids is making sure they always wash their hands and brush their teeth because I feel like that increases something. I can't really remember what, but I, I feel like something happens when they do that. Also, if you can stop dumping your plates hidden around the house everywhere, giving everybody their everything's messy moodlet, that would also be great. <gasps> and Doc has reached creative level 10. What else do Angel? Apparently though, child skills maxing doesn't count. I don't know why, because it's actually harder than toddler, but it wasn't in the list of rules, which is super annoying. And my sinks are working again, so that's pretty amazing. I'm glad about that. Let's get these tables set in, because that increases something, and we're just doing everything to increase everything, okay? Okay, Doc, appreciate that we're doing dolls, but you know what you have to do. Please go ahead and also do some washing. Oh, look at this. Beautiful, clean, folded laundry, ready to for Doc to put away as well. <gasps> and Doc's also reached social level 10. Honestly, Doc is amazing. I'm so glad she's going to be our Disney princess, because she makes me so proud and the fact that she's so smart and amazing, I, to me, means that she's going to be able to handle that Cinderella lifestyle. I actually haven't looked into that one yet. I'm keeping them all like a secret for myself until I have to do them. What I will do as well, though, is when she becomes a teenager, I will change some of her features just a little bit to make her look a little bit more like Cinderella. So we'll bring up a picture and then we'll do any changes that we have to do, such as the blue eyes, which obviously Cinderella has. <gasps> Doc's responsibility is in range to earn the responsible trait. Okay, guys, we're clearly doing something good, so we just need to keep doing what we're doing, okay? We really need it to stay in that range. Also, if it's winter, will I stop getting leaves on the floor? If so, like, I need snow to break the snow or something because these leaves are really important for helping me with character values and we're kind of running out of them. Oh, yes, unwelcome present. This We need these. These are super important. We always will go for manners or responsibilities. So let's go for this one. Oh, and somebody else. Oh, children, thank you so much. It's so handy when you do this. Amazing. Manners going up here with little Grumpy sitting the table. Well done, Grumper, Grumper Rooney. And don't forget everyone, British your teeth wash your face look she's brushing her teeth oh no she's brushing her teeth as she's eaten which to me seems very counterproductive also i'm feeling like since she found out she wasn't going to be a disney princess <laughs> she's also pretty unhappy looking but we're just gonna gloss over that okay dog has been the looker after of you all also if i put a bin inside then they'll have to keep taking the bin out you guys big brain time okay oh <gasps> yes this is awesome responsibility boom keep asking me this stuff kids okay Please ask me for so much advice because I love her. Usually it kind of bugs me when they do that, but today it's all good. It's all good. I wonder, I wonder if I can just spam brushing teeth. Let's just try it on Sneezer. Cause look, it does say responsibility is teeth. Let's see if I can get it over the edge by just brushing her teeth until all her baby, te baby teeth are fallen out and she's just kind of brushing gums, gums only. It's just all about those poor little bloody gums at this point. Ashfalette's responsibility is in range to earn the responsible trait. Okay, I kind of feel like we've figured out a way to beat the system here, gang. Teeth brush until them gums bleed. That, no, oh my gosh, we almost did the wrong thing there. Uh, oh, these are all garbage. I can't do anything with any of these, okay? Rubbish. Bring me stuff I can use. We've got two sinks, which means twice as much gum brushing. Brush, 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 brush. Oh, yes. What do we want? We want manners. 
boom. My children will all be so well behaved, but they will have no teeth. <laughs> No teeth at all. Grumpy, I see a plate. Get that. Oh, you can't clean it up. I don't think you can clean anything up because all the sinks are being used for just so much teeth brushing. Dopey, you stood around looking dopey. Let's give you a job to do. Poor Snow, look. Nocturnal Snow is getting her sleep at 2 p.m. <laughs> 2 p.m. in the afternoon because she's had to go nocturnal for the sake of her children. She's, in that respect, a strange but good mom. And look at this sink that they're actually using to brush their teeth in. Are they doing that weird, like, charcoal teeth brush? I don't know, but it looks pretty grim. Oh, and who's doing this? This is against the rules. Clean it up right now. Oh my gosh, Bashvaletta is almost Max's responsibility. This is good, because I think Bashvaletta and Doc, black-haired Doc is a strange Doc, I'm not gonna lie. It's more snow, but with those blonde eyebrows, it has that very much my hair. I'm actually fair, but I've dyed my hair black kind of vibes. But those two are gonna age up the first, and they're already like, honestly, I, what's going on here, Dopey? Stop that. Honestly, at this point, I could kind of age them up early, because they're doing that well. Oh my gosh, what is whimsical? I just got the whimsical achievement. Complete 100 whims. Oh, I'm so whimsical. It's kind of fitting for every whimsical series, isn't it? And guys, time to time to get some sleepies, okay? Sleepies so that we're good for school tomorrow because Doc, I need that A. Grumpy, I need that A, okay? <gasps> Your household earned 31,000 child support. <laughs> Thank you, Jay Huntington. You may not be here and active, but at least you pay me them big bucks. And look at those teeth brushing while eating again. I know it's weird and gross, but that is just what we're doing, okay? Ooh, and do I see snow? <gasps> yes, guys, it's snowing! Should we see the house in the snow? Oh my gosh, look how cute it looks in the snow. Look at this, it's so adorable! Okay, can I get them to do any uh, character value boosting things in the snow? No, there's not enough snow yet. Okay, great. Also, none of these seem very character building-y. Okay, I don't think we're gonna get anything out of the snow. It's pretty, but it's also pretty useless. Okay, everyone is heading off to school. Good job, gang. Work hard, okay? Freezing to death. Oh, everyone's freezing to death as well. Great. Awesome. Oh, look at this. Look, snow is so good. She wants to volunteer with her family. I kind of low-key feel as though that could help. I don't know. Could that help? I sort of feel like that could help with some of the character values, so I might make them do that when they get home. I keep just making her cook all the time just because seven kids. The food seems to go quite quickly, so we'll get some more foodies on the go. My garden kind of looking pretty sad in the cold, I'm not gonna lie. I have a little potato growing here. I did not- oh, Jay is wondering if- oh, yes! This is what we're after. Uh, let's go responsibility. Boom. Jay is wondering if we want to meet him somewhere, but as soon as we went online to the school, we're like, just give us a sec, Jay, the school's just ringing about Grumpy. <gasps> Grumpy, whose responsibility is in the range to earn the responsible trait now. And, oh, the principal is visiting Dopey's class. Just be be nice, Dopey. Be chill, okay? Be chill. But yeah, Jay then, like, dropped our call, being like, oh, sorry, it'll take too long, so... Yes, more of these is good. Okay, academic punishment seems right to me. More. Give me them all. Give me all of them. And then this evening, we will go volunteer with the family. We will be going to the soup kitchen, okay? That is that is super, super on brand. We also have £3,000 bills. That's just like pocket change to us. So, no, don't sit on the class. Pay the bills. Pay the bills. And then go catch up on your beauty sleep snow, okay? Wait, you can sleep in your own bed. I won't make you sleep in one of the child's beds. Oh, and people are home. We've got school project. Grades are up, which is amazing. People are doing pretty well. Okay, that's all amazing and all. Wow, there's a lot to get through there. But we're actually gonna go volunteer with the fams. So, gang along, get your shoes on, get your coats back on. We are going to, can I bring all of them? Oh my gosh, no! Wait, the children, but I want to go with them. Oh, I'm so sorry, Doc. This is just shaping the rest of your life. You can stay at home and do the chores. I feel so bad, but the rest of us are going to the soup kitchen. Please watch the house for us. I know it's mean, but one, the girl's wearing a, a black wig. So if anything, she's kind of asking to just be picked on because this is a bad wig. Uh, but two, you, you're kind this is kind of going to be the future of your life, you know? You're going to be a Cinderella. So this just makes total sense to me. And look at this, while they're volunteering, Jay is like, grumpy, grumpy, forget volunteering. Let's come out and I'll teach you how to play poker. No. Jay, that won't be happening, okay? Oh my gosh, he's literally going through all the male children being like, poker, poker with the lads, let's go. I will not allow it. <gasps> and the electricity goes out right as the soup kitchen reaches critical mass. Grumpy, Grumpy needs to go get up and solve the problem. Well, I feel like he's a child. Let's just call the power company, okay? <gasps> the power company lost the bill payment in the mail room and automatically shut off the power. Keeps his cool on the phone and they resolve the issue and the power is restored. Well, that you gained emotional control. We don't need that one, Grumpy. Come on. Well, I don't care about your emotional control. 
Manners, look at your responsibility though, it's a beacon. An absolute beacon. You've nailed it, you've nailed it. Dopey, nah Dopey, you need to fix that. Grumpy's nailed it, Happy is getting there. Uh, Sneezer, mm, still a long way to go, and Sleepy is still a long way to go, okay. And uh, we need to focus on Happy, right? Because he's the middle. He ages at a different time. Happy and, Happy and D Dopey seriously need to pick up. They've got classic middle child syndrome. They are being ignored a little bit. Right, Doc, let's play in more drying the laundry. And someone just sent us some money. I just sent you some money, make sure you to use it wisely. Why did you just send us $168? I don't even need it. All my kids are getting like this good reputation from doing their charities. So that's pretty amazing. But now y'all need to be doing your homework, please. And I can see loads of school projects. So we're going to be getting on that as well. Because I think it gives them responsibility as well if they do the homework. So just have to do it. Look at this homework club. You four get the nice indoor tables. You get the little chair. And who has to sit outside? Or little happy has to sit outside. Look at this. Snow come down to help out everybody with their homeworks. Cause she's a good mom. She is a good mom. Everyone's like, I finished my homework. And I'm like, have you got extra credit work? Cause she'll be doing that now. Do your extra credit work as well. Do it, do it, do it. <gasps> and Doc is on a grade A. Okay. Does, do I have to get a grade A or grade A plus? I, th I don't think you can get an A plus, but she needs to age up with this. Right now, however, I am gonna give a tick next to her name because we've got grade A and responsibility, I'll only tick when she ages up. But at least we've hit the grade A. I can't see it going down now because she's like doing homework. She's doing extra credit work. She's basically being a god amongst, a goddess amongst men. And let's not forget the school projects. Please get working on those as well. There's three of them working on this school project to help out. Little Sneeze that with her responsibility. Like good children. Oh, yes. Beautiful castle. Whose was it? It was hers. Sneeze at. So pop that in your inventory. I can hear the doorbell going. But don't think you're getting away with it that easy because we'll start a new school project immediately straight after, okay? Also, Doc, I'm noticing clothes on the floor here. So I feel like the washing's getting left behind. What's this lunatic doing? Everyone else is doing a school project. This guy, this guy's, where is he gone? This guy's doing the jive. Assist. <gasps> and another project done. Beautiful. You love to see it. Okay, it is 1 a.m. in the morning now, so as much as it pains me to do this, I will allow the dwarfs to sleep, okay? So, in bed. Oh, and look at this. They're off to school. But it's so cold outside. Like, they're literally, I feel like I'm sending my children in a blizzard. Like, look at this. They can barely even get across the enchanted bridge. Oh, you're gonna freeze dressed like that, Dopey, I swear. But yeah, it's it's pretty cold and miserable outside. She's off in the drink if she's not careful. Look at Happy, like regretting everything he's ever chosen to pick out this morning. And what are those trousers anyway? You kinda you kinda deserve this happy. Grumpy is still sleeping, apparently with no intention of going to school today. Uh Grumpy, I need that grade A from you. So go on, get up, get to school. I don't care how angry and uncomfortable you are. You're not on an A yet, so you need to work harder. And you know the drill, guys. We study hard. We are a family of hard studiers. And Jay Huntington asking himself to come around to the house. Those calls have become zero. Now that they're kids, he's like, eh, they're not as cute anymore. I'm bored. Can we make some more? No. Look at the snow. Oh my gosh, look at this, though. How freaking pretty. Look at this. Go away. In the go away, little Red Riding Hood. Wrong fable. Look at this. Ignore the craziness going away on behind. The dogs are playing. I'm gonna take some beautiful screenshots of the snow because it honestly, it's just a delight. Like, look, look at that. That's so pretty. That looks like the scene from a fairy tale. We're inside cooking with the fire on. There's just something so deliciously wholesome about it. I love it. Oh my gosh, doggos, please calm the craziness down slightly, okay? <gasps> Grades are up. We've got Sleepy on a B. We've got Doc is a top student. Uh, Dopey's on a B. Gr Grumpy is on an A. Give the lad a tick. Yeah, doing so, so well. Uh, Sneezette's on a B. Bash Valletta is on one of the top students as well. Happy is on a B. That's pretty good. You know what, gang? I know you're probably going to all die in the blizzard, but... I'm gonna allow you guys, if your fun is high and if low, you're allowed to play pirate, okay? Go play pirate. Look at them, like, dying trying to get over to their pirate ship. Will they even survive the journey across the seven seas to the pirate ship? Dopey ain't dopey. She's like, I'm playing inside. Okay, Happy's freezing to death. Happy, I think you should come and play dolls in here because you can't survive out there. You're too weak, my child. You are the weakest of all my children. Look, look at your poor blue face and red nose. Get inside before you die. And look at this. Look how many little dwarfs are helping with this project. How freaking cute is this? Look at them all. Look at them all helping. Oh my gosh, Grumpy's eyes are dead. But still, 
so freaking cute. I am aware that it looks very much like blood they've got in those, but try and ignore that. <gasps> and oh my gosh, Grumpy is going through a phase. His spirit animal is the avocado bear. He is a grumpy avocado bear. Okay, wonderful. Oh, and my new favorite thing to do is definitely to just get a bunch of them to work on a project. It's just wholesome. Look at this wholesome child. Look at this wholesome children everywhere. So cute. And all the dwarves are asleep. And it's Winterfest today. Already? Seriously? I did not realize it was Winterfest already. Okay. And when everyone's awake, we will decorate the tree. Ooh, and Snow is feeling attractive. What an absolute babe. And oh my gosh, at this point, even Jay is saying, can I hook you up with somebody else? I know he said that before and we rejected him, but at this point, if the guy hates us this much, then fine. It's over, Jay. It's over. And why are you crying, avocado bear? Because you want a new brother or sister. I don't care how many more avocado cubs you want to add. It ain't happening, okay? It just ain't happening. And let's get all the gang decorating the tree together. Look at the little dwarfies putting stuff on the tree. Are all of them doing it? Can all of them fit? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> Yay! Snow White and all seven of her dwarfs decorating the tree there, guys. Beautiful, beautiful, wholesome scenes. This is so freaking cute. Dwarfs are arguing, but it's fine because they're also yeeting on baubles. Beautiful. <gasps> this is improving their responsibility. This is awesome. And their manners. Okay, I knew this was a good thing to do. Do I also decorate the cottage for Christmas? I kind of feel like I have to. <gasps> Sneeze at responsibility is in the range to earn the responsible trait as well. This is so awesome. I feel like I could actually do this. Oh, wow. I can actually only see the fences. Oh, I can see some spandrel ones. Okay, yeah, there. <laughs> so many of them did not work. However, look at it. Look at it on the little fences. That looks cute. That's all we need, okay? Wow, we've got Miss Claus walking by here with a little hat on. And guys, let's go to our grand meal. Look at the tree. Look at the presents under it. So cute. Look at the little sparkles everywhere. Eat din dins, even you avocado bear, and then we can open our presents. I know you don't like handouts, but I just sent you some money. Why does everyone keep sending me cash? I got 50k in the bank. I don't need your cash, okay? And then the whole gang, let's open a present. Oh, and people are happy with the presents. She wishes she got a toilet, okay. <laughs> Junior wizard starter set. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know that was a thing. That's so cool, Doc got that. So that's like the junior um, doctor set, but if you want to become a witch later in life, that's so freaking cool, I love it. <gasps> and Dopey's responsibility is in the range to earn the responsible trait. I feel like I'm doing a really good job this episode. Look, done, 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 done. Oh my gosh, they've all got it. They've all got it. I've literally got all of them at it. They could all age up right now and I've done it. Thing is, keeping them there till they age up is sort of the hard part, isn't it? <gasps> and oh my gosh, Father Christmas even came. We literally got a father, Father Winter. Wow. Oh look, some of them that stayed awake got a present from Father Winter as well. Pretty impressive. And Evil's spirit is fading away. It truly is a Christmas miracle, you guys. A Christmas miracle. I feel like we could come out of this with all the kids having awesome manners, awesome responsibility, all of them having achieved amazing stuff and all of them having great A's. I just, I really feel like that is the way that these kids are going, okay? <gasps> it's almost Bash Valetta's birthday. It's almost Doc's birthday. That is what I want to see right there. And oh my gosh, look at them all coming home from school. <laughs> oh my gosh, the struggle. The struggle to even get inside the house and begin the homework and chores. It might seem harsh, but look. A. 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 No, B. Oh, come on, Dopey. Uh, A. 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 And because there's seven dwarves to talk to at all times, if you look at their skills, all of them have social 10. Well, again, apart from Sneezer. But most of them have social 10 as well. Just because they talk to each other all the time. Doc has mastered three of the five childhood skills. Like, seriously, she's amazing. She also ages up tomorrow. So get ready for that. It's Saturday and it is Doc's little birthday. Day just took, day started aging up as zero. I realize it's also Sneezettes as well. But let's go ahead and do Doc's today. And we'll do Sneezettes in tomorrow's episode. I'm gonna make uh, this winter cake. Cause Wait, can you have that? a birthday cake. I don't know, but I'm gonna try. Look at this. Look at her birthday cake. Oh, nice is that. Also, I feel like it's all very on brand with Snow White, so that is amazing. Doc, babes, get your little wee out, and then let's go. What toilet is gross? Let's go and blow out our cake, and let's see how our Cinderella is gonna look. Okay, I'm gonna get a picture of Cinderella up, so I know what I'm aiming for. I feel like that's definitely the next one in the challenge. <gasps> and oh my gosh, Doc, nobody came to watch you. Nobody came to watch you age up. Are you kidding me? So she must have the neat and foodie traits, so I will give, I'll give her neat for now, and then when I go into cast, I'll change it to a foodie trait. 
What does Cinderella want? A dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep. Uh, I guess since she's gonna be cooking all the food, I'm gonna make her a master chef. We'll change that one and wow, this is how the game thinks she's gonna look. But let us go ahead. <gasps> Aldrin, why is that have a sim age up? She aged up so, so well. Look at this, full responsibility and almost full manners. She was the, she was the best of the class in school. Let's go ahead and edit her up in cats. Okay, you've got some interesting skin details on. So let's just take this hair off and take these skin details off. This is the base we're working with. Honestly, already super pretty. And this is how Cinderella looks. Basically, it's super pretty blonde with blue eyes. So the first thing I will go ahead and do is change out her eye color to blue, not like that. I'm also gonna do what I did with her mum, which is make her eyes a little bit more big and Disney just because uh I'll keep her eyes the same, but I think just making them a little bit bigger and Disney kind of fits the challenge quite well. But honestly, we have a beautiful base to work on here. So I'm excited about this. So let's go ahead and add some little skin details to my girl. And she needs like beautiful long blonde hair. Something like that is quite... I mean, she's got it up in this picture. Does she ever wear her hair down? Because I sort of feel like she doesn't start in the dress, you know? She starts in the like scrappy clothes. Yeah, she's more like this at the start because she has to do all the chores for everyone, doesn't she? I'm also sort of vibing that Cinderella seems to have a big old fringe. Uh, I don't know if... It doesn't go with that hair. Maybe that's a little bit more. Because then she's got the fringe. Because it's meant to be like a little bit of a reimagining, isn't it? It's also not got white blonde hair. She's got golden blonde hair. Maybe we could go for something like that instead. So it's like inspired by, but a little bit different too. Oh man, I really don't know what hair to give her. I've, I've, put, I've put some makeup on her, but I'm going through like so many hair options. I'm trying to pick ones that have a little fluffy fringe to them. Like, cause I feel like when she transforms into, meets her Prince Charming, then her hair should have a transformation as well. But like, I don't know. I'm kind of digging this one. Cause I feel like it kind of fits like her sort of like, cause she's meant to look like a maid, isn't she? She's not meant to be a princess yet. Man, that one's so pretty in pink. Might start her with this and then transform her. I'm also really not liking the fact that none of my maid outfits look right. That's fine because I'll have a look online. If you guys know of any stuff as well, let me know. Okay, foodie. There we go. Give another foodie trait as well. I think she's looking super cute. So in the next episode, we'll finish off the rest of the little kids. But honestly, I've literally nailed everything for them. I feel like I've nailed this challenge. I'll explain the rules of the Cinderella challenge in the next episode, including any ways that I might tweak it to uh, match what we want to do here a little bit differently. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye.